Hi guys, Aspen here from Drone in Nature. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grade your Mini 2 footage using another technique and creating a log profile or flat color profile to your Mini 2 footage using DaVinci Resolve 17. DaVinci Resolve is quite a powerful editing software and probably the best color grading software in the world. So I'm going to show you how you can manipulate your footage to make it look like a log footage using your Mini 2 footage. You can also do this with other cameras that don't have flat color profile. So let's head into DaVinci Resolve 17 and I'm going to show you. So we're going to pick uh, a video shot on my Mini 2. This is straight out of the camera. Uh, filming in 4K30, nothing done with the footage, but we're gonna manipulate this to make it look like a flat color profile. And of course, we're gonna grade it a little bit. So let's do that. But we're gonna copy this footage. Let's do that. Hold in Alt, Alt, and drag it. So we're now gonna head into the color page in DaVinci Resolve. 17. I'm using um, uh, the studio version. I think you can do this in the free version. I'm not quite sure. But we're in the color page now and we're gonna bring in an effect called Color Space Transform. You go to your Open Effects library in the color page and you write in color and you have something called color space transform. So drag that onto your node like that. Nothing happened, of course. We have to change something. So we're gonna change the input gamma to rec 709. That's because uh, rec 709 is a picture profile with equal amount of saturation and contrast. So in some way, it's the same as the footage from the Mini 2 straight out of the camera, like that. And now we're gonna change the output gamma to a flat color profile. You can use either RE log C. You can see what happened to the pit footage. I'm gonna drag up my, so you can see your parade or your waveform is changing if I turn it off and on. But we're gonna use the DJI uh, D-Log or d like log profile, like that. So you can see the footage looks like a flat color profile, looks flat. So let's add a node. Hold in control S and we're gonna call this contrast. we're going to bring down the lift like that and bring up the gain to make some contrast like that and going to bring up the gamma a little bit okay so we did some changes to the contrast off and on so let's use our curve to make an S curve, just to add some more contrast to the footage and bring it up here. Yeah, so now we have some contrast into our footage and I must say I'm not a professional colorist at all. This is all done the way I like it. I know there are many out there that are much better than me, but this is the way I'm doing it. So we're gonna turn off the node. This is with the flat color profile, and I'm gonna turn off the node with the color profile. This is the original photo. This is with a flat color profile. And this is with the contrast. Okay, so let's Bring in one more node, Control S, and call this saturation. 
let's make the image pop a little bit more and let's bring up the saturation like that so you can see you have much more to play with if you change the wave waveform to the waveform you can see what's happening here so we will you still got much more tweaking to do if you like so this is uh, great with that uh, profile okay yes we added some uh, contrast now uh, saturation it looks pretty good off and on off and on so let's do one more let's bring up the highlight let's make this a uh, color balance node so control s and let's call this color balance this is the way i'm doing it so if you're doing it another way that's working also of course let's bring up the highlight a little bit like that and let's bring down the shadows maybe we can uh, add some more blue into our footage something like that bring down the tint that looks pretty nice let's play it oh yeah looks good it seems to me like the shadows are a little bit dark but uh, looks pretty nice so this is the footage quickly graded with uh, the flat color profile but it looks pretty nice let's go into the edit page and compare the footage side by side and i know many people are not grading the footage straight out of the camera using a normal color profile so let's bring up this one and bring the other footage underneath and let's see you can see now the top footage is graded with the manipulated color profile flat color profile we're going to turn this off and this is straight out of the camera i really like yeah uh, you have so much more room to play with when you're manipulating the footage to make it look like um, look like a flat color profile but let's zoom in a little bit and see what's happening here so let's find a point maybe here and let's zoom in five times of course you can see much noise but let's let's turn that off and do the same with the other footage straight out of the camera highlight that one five times it's difficult to see but it uh, looks like the noise is more or less the same this is uh, straight out of the camera not graded at all and this is graded with a flat manipulated color profile but let's do some uh, tweaking with uh, the footage straight out of the camera like you normally would do it so let's do that let's set this back that one and that one so let's do that let's go into the color page and grade the normal footage without making any simulated or manipulated profile so let's do that into the color page you have your node so let's let's uh, add a node control s contrast let's bring down the lift you can see you don't have so much more room to play with before you're crushing it let's bring up the gain 
let's bring up bring up uh, like that let's add a node controls s this is saturation let's bring it up let's see and let's bring in one more node control s and this is color balance color b let's bring up the highlight like we did with the other footage let's bring down the shadow a little bit okay so this is the footage graded quickly using no color space transform effect let's go into the edit page again and see how it looks like that so this is with um the footage with the with the effect simulating a flat color profile let's turn that off and this is graded without the effect it looked like i should do something with the shadows but i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna make a video with some different shots using the effect and without the effect so you can see what's what's better or not but let's zoom in and see let's find a point there and let's zoom in five times you can see of course it's a lot of noise but let's do it with this also so you can compare it this is straight out of the camera without any effect and this is with the effect so which one is as more or less noise it's difficult to see but i'm gonna make some footage side by side so you can decide i really hope you enjoyed it maybe this is a good tips i don't know i'm gonna try to use it a little bit but i think this is a possibility to make some more changes to your footage because you have more room to work with so uh, i think this is probably a good idea just to try it and see i really loved uh, the cinema like profile that i had on my air 2 i don't have that on my mini 2 but if this work it's possible to use but of course the biggest problem with the mini 2 is the small sensor so you don't you can't put too much information into that small sensors but uh, this is a possible way to to make it work and you can also use these effects on other footage that doesn't have a flat color profile but this is a way to manipulate it, the footage to make it look like a flat color profile if somebody has some comment to me maybe this is the wrong way to do it but i, I think it looks pretty good so, so you can see this is with uh, the normal footage graded it seems to me like it's more noise you can see this is uh, with uh, maybe we can zoom in a little bit more a time uh, zoom in eight times so you can see of course there's a lot of noise now the sensor is small but let's turn that off it seems to me like it's more noise in this footage without the effect on it i think it is this is much more noisy so this is the footage straight out of the camera without the effect on it and you can see there's a lot of noise in the shadows here 
and let's see on the other footage this is the footage with the effect with the color space transform it's not that much noise in the shadows that's my opinion but it, yeah so really hope you enjoy it watch the whole video uh, i have some side by side footage with and without the color transform effect so hope you enjoy it and please subscribe see you bye bye